to the Late Night Gamer and Arkham Horror with all of the expansions. We are heading into a new round, around 7 I believe. Um, the main problem this round is going to be over in Arkham. So what's going to happen is that Daryl Simmons, he's in the Dreamlands and he will emerge next round. Um, well, he will not be alone, to put it like that. And um, if you're lucky, that red monster, the proto Shogot, with the red border, if you're lucky, he will move away. But the other one, he is a Dark Young and he will stay put because he's a immobile monster, a stationary monster. And if you flip it around, you'll see that the Dark Young is a tough beast. He is physical resistance. And three toughness. Nightmarish means that regardless if we pass the horror check or not, we will lose one sanity. If you're unlucky, we also have to face the Proto Shugot, also very tough. Three toughness. So, um, some tough fights coming up for Daryl Simmons. And Daryl is going to be the first player. With his two focus, he's going to increase his fight to maximum. He's taking two bucks for the retainer and he's going to roll to see if he will keep it. Keep this retainer for now. He can use the voice of Ra, which will give plus one to every check, every skill check this round. Um, no, he's not going to do that though. His lore is only two, so he has a very low chance of casting it. He has a magical weapon he can use. He gives plus five to combat checks. So all may not be lost. He can rub his lap. <laughs> okay. Then it's Norman. And he's going to have a high speed as high as possible and keep moving. Norman Winters also has a retainer, so two bucks. At this point the money becomes a little bit, uh, uh, well, irrelevant because there's so much money now in this game. Um, and he also keeps his retainer, so it's going to be even more money. So Lola has four clues. Perhaps she should think about picking up one clue so she can close a gate and seal it properly. For that she will need a speed of two to get to the closest clue and she has that. I'll, well, she's going to keep everything as it is. She's also getting two bucks. Refreshing her shivering spell. Oi. And she will see if she will keep it. No, she is actually losing the retainer. She rolled a one, okay. So just a quick reminder about Lola's special ability. Uh, I can actually change her, Lola can change her skill now. If you like. But she, I, I mean, she, she's. I, I don't want to do that because she's pretty good with fighting, and her skill helps her speed. But, um, but uh, let's uh, just just keep that in mind. Leo is protected by the boss, or well, has the blessing of boss, um, so he needs to move his sliders, and he's going to take down his lore. Two steps. Two bucks also for him. And let's see if he is keeping his retainer. He is, that's a three. Leo is in a street location and he will try his luck with the Sheldon Gang again. So he will roll a die. And he gets a two and that is nothing happens. But he is a non-criminal as we've seen before so you can re-roll that. And that is another two bucks. Okay. Yep, that's upkeep. So remember, we have this organization in play, the organized crime, and I have the option of going to the black market if I am in a street location, and I can purchase um, that item, either unique or common item, for more than its list price. But I think I'm going to do that with two of my characters now, both with Leo Anderson and with Normal Interest. They are going to draw. Uh, and try to purchase 
and unique items are generally more powerful than common ones so both are going to draw a unique item and they have so much money so that's fine let's first draw for let's see who's first uh, Norman Winters and then for Leo Anderson so I just head over to my box to find unique items and I'm going to draw one now for Leo this is Leo's item uh, sorry this is Norman Winters item and this is Leo Winters item so Norman Winters is purchasing it's a tome let's have a closer look on that one the tome it works in my movement phase and I spend a move point to make a lower minus one check and it will basically give me spells and stuff so I have to buy it for more than its list price two more than its list price and there's no option in this so I have to pay five bucks for it okay I'm putting this over at Norman Winters uh, inventory and Leo he is getting also a tome the Livre de Ivon perhaps in my movement phase I can oh I need to spend two movement points and a minus lower minus two check um, and I can choose a spell hmm okay it cost me two sanity and it cost me eight bucks but that's not pro no problem for these guys so I also should have been doing something else every time I open the gate I should have been drawing a, uh, drawing a reckoning card But all of these reckoning cards that I have drawn already always refer to the pacts, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, I should have been doing that. That's an oversight. So not too much, too much to, to remember. And uh, the old first player comes out of the dreamlands and into this monster place. He is ending his movement, but because he just came out of a gate. He doesn't have to fight the, fight the monsters this round. He gets an explored marker, just like that. So this creates an interesting situation and a very confusing situation in our game. You're entering through the gate at a place where there are monsters, and normally would fight monsters at the end of the movement phase, which is now. But since you got through the gate, you have one of these gates, uh, one of these. Um, I forget what they call, but one of these markers showing that you come out through the gate, so you don't have to fight monsters during this round. But uh, the rules are not uh, written so clearly, so some people t uh, say that you may fight monsters and you pay, may pick monst uh, monsters to fight. But I don't think the intention is that, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you're not allowed to engage monsters during this section. So out through the gate and um, we will try to close this gate in the encounter phase. And okay so next next up for movement is Norman Winters. He's at north side but he's not going to move just yet. So he's going to spend a movement point to try to read this tome. I need to make a lore minus one check. His lore is four. So three dice in the cup. And we need only one success. We have it right there. I can draw one spell and lose one sanity. I draw one spell and it is Fist of Yog Sothot. Okay, so I cast it and the number of successes will determine how many many positives I get to a combat check. And so we see that this time that the sanity is down to five. Norman has two to movement left, so he's going into the curiosity shop where I can either have an encounter or try to buy some equipment. Right, so now we have Lola Hayes, she is right here at the Miskatonte University Street location. Her movement is only two, but she is going into the unnameable to pick up this clue. That's five clues for her, she can now head for a gate. Okay, last man standing. Leo has a speed of 4, but he will need to face this rat thing. Uh, but the rat thing is um, going to steal an item before a combat check, so 
Let me see if Leo has an item that he can lose. So Leo Anderson has the card this Pentagram of Blood, where he can spend X stamina and remove a monster with X toughness. The rat thing has only one toughness. So Leo can spend one stamina and kill the rat thing. He will do that. And this happens in the movement phase. He will be using the Pentagram of Blood for a one toughness monster. But it will enable him to use his movement points to stop at Wizard's Hill. Okay, so that ends movement. And Daryl is starting the encounter phase. So he's going to try to close this gate. So let's see what gate it is. Can't remember anymore. Okay, so it's a plus one gate, so it's quite easy to close. And he has a five fighting skill, Daryl, and plus one, that's six. And remember, only one success is enough. No problem, he got three, so that gate is closed. So he's getting the gate trophy. He has one of his two required trophies for his personal story to succeed. Succeed. Remember, remember the personal story for for Daryl. He needs two gate markers in order to succeed with his personal backstory. There was some photographic evidence, but if he fails, he will lose his retainer. He will fail if he have five or more clue tokens. He has a lot of money, so it may not matter too much. Uh, one thing I forgot to do when Leo used his tome kill off that rat thing was that um, instead of losing a stamina I'm preventing it with the leadership ability so again this is the gate that was closed so now we'll search for monsters with this symbol and remove them there is actually one here up in northern parts of Arkham in Independence Square the length spider it's gone back to the monster cup that's good work from Daryl Norman Winters is next. Heroes to shop. He is forfeiting his encounters, and instead he can draw three unique items, and he get the ability to or get the the option to buy one of them. Let's hope for some weapons. So what does he get? He will. He, he's getting a ritual blade that looks promising. The book of Zvan, and the masquerade of night. Let us have a look. This is a magical weapon. Gives us plus two to combat checks and actually also is helpful when casting spells. That's useful. This book. Well, I can get two spells out of that book. Hmm. So I'm not going to buy the book. The Masquerade of Night. Discard this card after failing a horror check to reduce the monster's damage to zero. Cancel the ancient ones entire attack. No, I'm going to get I'm going to buy the blade because that's what he needs. Five bucks for the blade. Okay, still in Arkham City at the unnameable. Lola is having an encounter. This is her encounter. So I put it down here. The unnameable. A glam of metal draws your attention to the fireplace which suddenly ignites, you may attempt a speed minus 3 trick you may attempt a speed minus 3 check to pull an item from the fire before it is destroyed and that will give me a unique item cost me stamina if I fail, a speed minus 3 Lola doesn't have any speed she has a 2 in speed so she is not going to be able to do that so as you can see Leo has ended his movement on Wizard's Hill where there is a gate and he will be drawn into that into the Great Halls of Salano. The Great Hall of Salano is placed here so he emerges here and that's the Arkham encounter phase moving into the Otherworld encounter phase and Leo is in the Otherworld so he will have an encounter. I need a blue or green. I got these. It's red and yellow, and I need a blue or green. Oh, I got a green one here. This one. 
There is no mentioning of the Great Hall of Celano, so we need to do the other part. Dice have told me that it's going to be from the Miskatonic Horror, as we can see, Miskatonic Horror expansion. Magic seems to inherently manipulate your environment, oh no. There's a magic influence on the environment in the Great Hall of Celano, well that may not be surprising. If I have three or more spells, let's check. Uh, Leo doesn't have any spells, so this doesn't apply. Oh no, oh, that was lucky because he, if he had three or more spells, he would be lost in time and space. And he would effectively lose a turn and be thrown out of the other world, so that was lucky. Okay, so then we are into the Mythos phase again and we see what the expansion we draw from. I don't know if you're interested in this stuff, but we are drawing from the King in Yellow expansion now. The Mythos phase is one of the most exciting phases of the game, of course. Uh oh, oh no, oh no 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 no, look at that, no gates open but add two doom tokens to the doom track, somebody are playing with us, we are moving from 5 to 7, and we are over halfway, we haven't closed a single gate, and we are over halfway, and what's even worse, now there is a martial law in Innsmouth. There's a martial law in Innsmouth because the the, uh, the ancient one is close to waking up and they are becoming super suspicious down in Innsmouth. If we want to move in Innsmouth now, we need to make sneak checks all the way. And I want to move in Innsmouth because there's a location with three clues there. So, okay. Well, funny enough, the uh, the king in yellow had play hasn't started to play yet. So that's a bit. Uh, it's strange, so late in the game there has been no Mythos cards which has been uh, with a mystic environment. There is a lot of monster movement, no rift will open because of all of these symbols here. There is no, there is no symbol with all of these in um, on the rift, down in Innsmouth, uh, down in Kingsport, sorry, so that's not happening. But there is massive monster movement. Well, first off in Arkham, there are two monsters here and they are not moving because they have cornered Daryl. There's another monster, it's a ghost in the witch's house, but that's a stationary monster, so it stays put. The Miskatonic is moving as a moon monster because it didn't move during the encounter phase. And according to the Mythos card, moon is moving black, so it goes down to Upton. The only other monster on the boards is this crawling one and he is moving of course because he's a circular monster and he's moving black straight into the vortex and, sp and is being eaten up and uh, we know what that means because this was in Innsmouth a uh, deep one uprising token is added to the track, only two more and the old one will wake up immediately. I need to head over to Innsmouth now to build up here on the feds track so that we can purge this uprising. Uh, this, this uprising. Okay, so this monster is returned to the cup. But the terror level will increase. Goes up to four. And this guy is leaving town. Okay, so the Tattered King, it's a rumor. I need to place one clue token on this card every turn in every Mythos phase. And not this turn, but starting the next turn. And when five clue tokens are on, I, if I'm in the street location with any investigator, he's dead, he's devoured. As the Tattered King, which is the King in yellow, catches sight of him in the dead of night. Remember we also have this, the streets are flooded in effect. It's a weather, so there is just water everywhere in in all the cities. Arkham, Kingsport, Innsmouth and Dunwich. What else do we need to remember at the end of the turn? We need that power card or that uh, dark pact. Again, it references something I don't have, so these dark packs doesn't have any effect or doesn't have any meaning actually unless I'm taking a dark pact with the uh, 
the lurker and I'm not doing that because I'm terrified of doing that these cards will kill me it seems yes I think that's it we are finishing up this turn and I see you back soon for another round of Arkham we are seemingly approaching the end quite rapidly only four turns left it looks like it only four turns left Mm-hmm. <laughs>